coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Sedona, Arizona, no drone zone is unenforceable. Follow Buzzy the Drone. And reports of drones seeing near airplanes exceeds 100 per month. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. One of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. Okay, it's getting a little out of control. Signs have been popping up saying drone flights are prohibited on trails and in parks in and around Sedona, Arizona. But there is apparently no way for anyone to enforce the no drone zones. The signs say drone flights are prohibited within five miles of an airport and refers potential drone users either to the airport authority or the U.S. Forest Service. The airport website has a link to report drone flights, which are referred on to Deborah Abington, Sedona's airport manager. But the FAA says that the airport operators cannot ban drones, according to FAA regional spokesman Ian Greger. The Sedona airport does not have an air traffic control tower, Therefore, no notification is required. FAA Aviation Safety Inspector Jeffrey Larson confirmed that the location of the signs is Class G uncontrolled airspace and that no notification for drone flights is required, meaning these are not no drone zones, despite the misleading signs. It's important to note that the FAA has sole jurisdiction over the nation's airspace, including airspace immediately around airports for the purposes of air navigation. Airport operators cannot ban drones. When contacted, Abingdon said that the airport does not recommend drone flights, but did not say there was any law banning them. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. A name well known to those of us in the unmanned community is in the news. The FAA has announced Earl Lawrence's promotion to the agency's executive director for aircraft certification. Lawrence was previously executive director for the FAA's Unmanned Aircraft Systems Integration Office. He succeeds Dorinda Baker, who retired November 30th after a distinguished aviation safety career. The International Organization for Standardization has released a draft set of standards for drone use the organization hopes will become recognized as best practices for both manufacturers and operators. The standards are not formal rules and are similar to measures that have already been adopted in some areas. They recommend no-fly zones near airports and other restricted areas enforced by geofencing. The standards also call for respect for privacy and recommend against completely autonomous flights. The public has the opportunity to comment on the standards until January 21, 2019. Daytona Beach, Florida-based commercial drone manufacturer Census Technologies has introduced the Beyond Visual Line of Sight FAA Waiver Application Aid, claiming a great success rate. With an FAA Beyond Visual Line of Sight waiver, drone operators can operate census aircraft out to a 2.7-mile range from the ground control station. The extra distance from the GCS improves accessible coverage area from below 5 square miles up to over 22 square miles. More drones to the rescue! The National Park Service Inventory and Monitoring Program used Air Environment's Quantix Hybrid Drone and Decision Support System Advanced Data Analytics Platform to assess the environmental impact of the Woolsey Wildfire in the Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area of Southern California. Burning over 96,949 acres, the devastating Woolsey Wildfire 
destroyed more than 616 park structures, and consumed approximately 88% of National Park Service land within the recreation area. That was our Drone Minutes, and now back to the rest of the news. Getting a drone for the holidays, the FAA's Buzzy the Drone will help you learn the do's and don'ts of being a responsible drone operator and flying your new purchase safely. Too many times the FAA hears sad stories about what happens when inexperienced flyers take their drones out for its first flight. Sometimes a nasty tree will jump right into your flight path. All too often, the drone gets scared and flies away if you let it out of your sight. And upset neighbors may knock on your door if you fly over their backyard while they're outside. Buzzy, a whimsical four-rotor drone, can help new operators avoid being that guy or girl. Buzzy uses simple but effective rhymes to convey important safety tips such as, when Buzzy goes out for a flight, the number one rule is keep Buzzy in sight. You can follow Buzzy's adventures on FAA social media, such as Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Buzzy's messages are the latest in the FAA's continuing efforts to make sure everyone follows the rules for safe drone operations. You can find details on the agency's extensive unmanned aircraft website. Buzzy and all the other drones say thanks in advance for keeping them safe, sound, and above the ground. We're much better than this. Reports of unmanned aircraft sightings from pilots, citizens, and law enforcement have increased dramatically over the past two years. The FAA says it now receives more than 100 such reports each month, and the agency wants to send out a clear message that operating drones around airplanes, helicopters, and airports is dangerous and illegal. Unauthorized operators may be subject to stiff fines and criminal charges, including possible jail time. The FAA continues to work closely with its industry partners through the Know Before You Fly campaign to educate unmanned aircraft users about where they can operate within the rules. The agency is also working closely with the law enforcement community to identify and investigate unauthorized unmanned aircraft operations. The FAA has levied civil penalties for a number of unauthorized flights in various parts of the country and has many open enforcement cases. The FAA encourages the public to report unauthorized drone operations to local law enforcement and to help discourage this dangerous illegal activity. The most recent data available from the FAA covers the period of April through June 2018. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program are Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.